All right, that is what we call uh, a sequential fourth exercise. I started off with the scale so you could just see that there. Um, I'm using a three note per string pattern of uh, the C major scale. Now we don't start on we don't start on the C. We start on a G, um, but uh, the C is our C. there's our C major scale there. We're just incorporating all six strings. And so the pattern goes like this, starting on the sixth string, three, five, seven, next string, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, six, eight, and then five, seven, eight. And so that is our three note per string C major scale. I like to think of it as the root on fifth um, because our root note C is on that fifth string, the root on fifth three note per string major scale. Now the fingering that I'm using for this is really important. You might, as if you the first learning the scale or it's new to you, you might want to use something like that because it just seems like the fingers line up, first finger, third finger, pinky, or fourth finger. Don't, don't use that finger and I don't recommend that. I like to use finger one, finger two, and then finger four. And the reason why is you would rather stretch your fingers here so then that way actually you can utilize your fourth finger even further out if necessary. Um, so our pattern looks like this. I'm using finger one, two, four, all the way through until when I get to this first string, then I'm gonna use finger uh, one, three, and four. So that is our pattern. Now it's called sequential fourth. What that means is we do a sequence of four notes. So it looks like this. I would go one, two, three, four. Now I started on that G note. The next sequence of four I'm going to do is going to start on the A note. So then I would go one, two, three, four. The next sequence will start from the B. One, two, three, four. So each time I'm working my way up the scale in groups of four. So the first pattern starts on the G and does four notes. Then it goes to the A, four notes. B, four notes. And then C, four notes. D, four notes. Uh, e, four notes. F, four notes. Uh, G, four notes. B, uh, A, four notes. B, four notes. And now right here, now what I want you to notice is as I get to this portion here on the third string where the numbers are, my fret numbers are four, five, seven, I shift to the fifth position there. So I start off in this third position and it, this naturally moves up here. That's easy to do when we shift to the fourth position. But when I do this part of the sequential fourths, four, five, seven, then I'm gonna shift my first finger to there. And then I'm just going to, not so much a bar, but roll my finger there for the next group. Okay, so that is our sequential fourths uh, ascending. Now, if we we're going to do it descending, I'm keeping all of my fingers in line. Right there is where I'm going to have to change position. So let me show you how I do this. I'm going to go 8th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, um, to that 7th fret there with the 3rd finger, 6th fret, 5th fret. Now my pinky, or my 4th finger, is going to go to that 7th fret, so then that enables my hand to get over here into 4th position. So if I... puts me in fourth position. So that finger is pretty important where I start with, if I start here on the fifth fret, go to the fourth finger, second finger, and then uh, 
fourth finger, or first finger on the fourth fret. And then the rest of the way, I'm in pattern or in position to be able to finish that. That is a sequential fourth exercise using um, just a C major scale. Uh, I use that constantly just to work on my coordination and my speed uh, and working on my scales. Hope that's helpful.